Fast food is something that we all know and love. When you want to budget your money or just need something quick, who is there for you? Two words, drive dash. You know, ordering a kid's meal when you were younger and just getting a toy at the end of it. It's just a feeling that I hope to experience again. There's just one thing that I cannot get over. And that is how much that they lie to us. They keep their secrets locked up like Mr. Krabs does with the Krabby Patty formula. <laughs> <laughs> Today, I'm going to be exposing every single one to really see what they hide behind closed doors. Not only for you, but for me to really know the truth. It's almost every day that you'll pull out your phone and you'll see something that you've never seen on any of these menus. It's time to start with the biggest of them all. I mean, since they are the most popular, they have a lot more to hide. And of course, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you're living under a rock. I am talking about McDonald's. Between me and you guys, I know one of their biggest things that they've been hiding for years. And it's the fact that Ronald McDonald's mcdonald is actually a real person he's not an actor and if you're wondering how i know this i've actually run into this guy in person we had a full-on convo so yes ronald mcdonald is real but nonetheless since this place is so well known i have a lot of menu items to get i think it really just depends on which location you go to because they could be cool and try and make it work for you but some people just say like no get out of here hopefully this isn't one of them hey uh can we do a mcdouble with lettuce and big mac sauce okay did you want to Add the Big Mac sauce or take off the ketchup and mustard? We'll do add the Big Mac sauce. Can I also do a uh, Big Mac fries? I'll give me one second. Ooh, needs to take a second. Probably like took his breath away or something. Oh uh, yeah, we don't have the french fries with the Big Mac sauce, I'm sorry. Is there any way you could get the sauce on the side? Uh, yeah. I can charge you for the sauce right here. Uh, what size do you want for your fries? Um, a large. Next up, I'll do the Monster Mac. What's that? A Big Mac with eight patties. Can we do a land, sea, and air burger? Uh, what's the uh, land, sea, and air burger? I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. It's the, um, a filet of fish, another Big Mac, and a McChicken. Is there any way you guys have a grilled cheese? Grilled cheese? Yeah. I'll do one of those. I'm sure you guys get this one a lot, but it's the apple pie McFlurry. Can I also get one orange dreamsicle? I just did a challenge where I, like, drank boba for 24 hours, so we'll go ahead and do a McDonald's milk tea. And to finish it off, I'll do one ice cream sandwich. All right. Your total's gonna be 72. 72 dollars okay thank you so much man appreciate it appreciate the patience if i knew we were getting this secret i would have left my wallet at home or something dude what's going on but no i'm really excited the fact that he knew a bunch of the things i was talking about makes me really happy makes my heart warm but let's go ahead and pay the 72 dollars sorry for the complicated order nah you weren't the joke <laughs> appreciate it can i just point this out it's summer in california and it's over a hundred and three degrees right now i am baking we decided to come inside because it was blazing hot outside and i have all this food right here so i mean if i wanted to make my car a mess in 24 hours actually no what am i saying in 24 seconds i could have done that but that's not what we're doing you know when you're low on funds and you can't just afford the real thing kind of like when you're buying fake designer like a fake louis bag you can't afford like the actual louis bag it kind of looks similar this is the same concept as we see it for the first time it kind of does resemble a big mac in a lot of ways it's just not as uh big yo hold on you're telling me this is cheaper why even sell a big mac when you can just get this not only are you going to save a couple bucks you're also saving room in your stomach for some more food pretty solid i mean this one i'm pretty hyped about i just kind of feel like they're biting in and out a little bit but this might be better Ooh, look at that sauce you don't see that you really don't the thing is i have tried mcdonald's in europe before and they have types of sauce like this there is this white one that i had i think in spain or france if any of you guys are out there in spain or france and you know what white sauce i'm talking about that was my favorite oh look at that though it just makes sense why don't they sell that as its own sauce like they have buffalo ranch honey mustard make the fourth one this one right here and you got me every single day of the week ladies and gentlemen i'm overwhelmed this is a big moment but it's also a classic one we're returning to this guy right here but it's just not your average burger you know it grows legs it starts walking around it says yo i'm here oh my gosh bro yo that's crazy yo that's nuts yo hold on let's let's actually pick this up real quick compare it to my head size because i have a big head bro trust if you see me in person you will see me from a mile away from my head let's go ahead and get let's go ahead and dig in you can definitely taste the patty you can definitely taste that yeah i wouldn't get this ever again i deem this one mid let's just talk about what matters most and the reason why i say that is because this has everything and more so the actual meaning of why they named it this is from the items that's inside of the burger we got fish that comes from the sea we got meat paws that comes from the land and we got chicken do chickens fly they flap a little bit yeah they, they, little flap. they get a little jump in there they get some jumps in there they get some hang time they can do a little hop every now and then i guess they're in the air anyway look at this bad boy 
I'm getting mixed emotions from it. You know, the consistency of this one is pretty interesting. You get the soft fish, the crunchy chicken, and a little bit of the meaty meat. Yeah, I could see myself getting this again. I mean, this one's just a joke. Like, are you serious right now? I don't know if I can exactly classify this as a grilled cheese because of the buns, but I guess it's the closest that they can get. But it's really sad from the amount that they actually gave me, because I mean, that's, that's what we're working with. More bun than cheese, yeah get this out of here we definitely had to come outside for the sweets but the first one i can already tell is going to be a disaster definitely not their fault but i mean here is our ice cream sandwich it's a little soupy but the idea behind it is what matters they are not missing with this they are not ain't no way and at the end of the day it's so simplistic it's amazing this right here is a combo that we all know and love look at that gradient man from top to bottom let's go ahead and mix it in wow that's so refreshing i can't get enough of that this right here Busted. This kind of reminds me of my grandma's house when she would just serve me up a pie with a scoop of ice cream on top and the mixture together, especially when it's at her house. But we're gonna dip it and then we're gonna quit it. So we're gonna get the apple pie, mush it up in the McFlurry a little bit. Look at that foam, wow. And this is so warm right now. Orange Dreamsicles has always had my heart, but they actually killed it. I mean, it looks perfect. Wow. When I say that is spot on, I mean it. This literally tastes as if I got the actual ice cream and let it melt into a drink. Fire. I mean, the fanciest of them all, just a little Cinnabon with some ice cream on top. Vanilla, of course. That's solid. Bro, I might get an accent from eating this one. I should put it away. I bet none of y'all saw this one coming. We are here at Wiener Snitch. Funny thing is, this place doesn't even have a secret item on the menu. In my opinion, you just have to be absolutely nuts to go here. And for that reason and that reason only, I just want a glizzy. Nothing crazy about it. I don't want the hot dog bun. I don't even want the box it comes in. Just give me the hot dog itself. That's all I need. I'm just in that kind of mood. All right, can I just get um just one glizzy? Um, I don't want the bun as well. Just uh, uh, like the hot dog in the bag. Thank you. Now, how much is the glizzy? That's what I'm trying to see. This one's special, baby. Just from the look of the dog itself, it's going to have all of your guys' mouth watering at home. Because most of you guys, when you play video games, are dog water. This is what I'm talking about. Look inside. Yes, sir. Let me just shimmy it all the way to the top. Mmm. That's gonna get me going. So some of you guys out there aren't blessed to have one of these by you because you know, we're about to be in and then out. <laughs> we're in and out. And recently it's been to the point where I haven't had this in so long from how much I've had it throughout my entire life. They really don't have a lot of items on the menu as it is. So the fact that they have a secret menu, it's pretty fire. How's it going, bro? Can we go ahead and do one Neapolitan? We'll do one Flying Dutchman and we'll also get roadkill fries. And then can you guys do a grilled cheese? A grilled cheese, yeah. And also a hot cocoa. Any marshmallows in it? Yes, please. And that'll be everything. You know, while we're waiting for our meal and since we're on the topic of really getting down to the truth, I'm gonna ask the cashier at the front, what's his biggest secret? I have a quick question for you. Yes. What's your biggest secret? A man with no secrets, I love it. What's your biggest secret? If you have any secrets, like what's your biggest one? I keep a lot of secrets. I Every, like that. Everyone comes to me with their secrets and I just hold them. You're mysterious. I think we start off with the most well-known one, which is the Neapolitan shake. That's where they blend up the strawberry, the vanilla, and the chocolate all into one drink. And it kind of resembles the ice cream that they have a little bit. And that's what it looks like right there. That beautiful swirl. Insane. It just never gets old. You know, let's just say you're a truck driver and you're just driving hours on hours throughout your day. And you're going and you just feel a, a little bump. That's what we have here. Roadkill. By the way, no animals were hurt during the process of this video. It really is just a patty on some fries with cheese and grilled onion. I think they just wanted to be different for what reason, I don't know. We got the classic in and out placemat, of course. And I think what you're supposed to do actually is get the patty and kind of just like put some bits on there. It's not the whole entire thing. Simple, easy. And there it is, man. It's actually good, very subtle. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is fine dining. So this is what we're calling a grilled cheese over here. Is that what we're doing? That's uh, that's just disrespectful, man. Honestly, it's not even a bad idea. It's just the fact that they they classify this as a grilled cheese. Regardless, let's eat it. It's good. It's actually really good. Realistically, I could have got a cheeseburger with no buns, and that's that. The Flying Dutchman. I am the Flying Dutchman. The name definitely fits the description. It's kind of just like an inside out burger, very messy. To the person who created this, I'm sure it's not the Flying Dutchman in Bikini Bottom. I just kind of want to know why. Exactly what I thought it was going to taste like. Cheese patties and grilled onion. So what we got here is basically someone with two different personalities that wanted to create one single place. We have a KFC and a Taco Bell in one building. Looks like we're gonna have to hop between both of them. Is it kind of like hard balancing like two different restaurants at once? No, it isn't. Not really? No, it's light work. It's light work. All right, well anyway, can I get a cheeserito? No, yeah, we don't have that here. 
Okay, well, can I get a cheese roll up with red sauce on the side? And then, um, can I also get the Hulk? I'll order uh, the Cloudy Skies. It's like a Baja Blast, but like with pink lemonade as well, like both of them. Bro definitely felt like I was out to get him. Like he was like hiding everything in the back, bro. He was like, shh, shh, they're onto us, they're onto us. So this was supposed to be a Baja Blast mixed in with the pink lemonade. They actually didn't have the pink lemonade, so it's kind of a little remix. It's a Baja Blast mixed in with raspberry tea. And honestly, that sounds even better. It definitely hits. We got the cheeserito. Pretty basic if you ask me. Red sauce with a cheesy roll up. I mean, it definitely adds to it, but it's whatever. Last from the Taco Bell side, we got a bean and cheese with chili inside. For all my chili lovers, I actually never met a single soul that I went up to that said, yeah, I love eating chili. That's just me though. But on occasion, it's pretty good, like a chili cheese dog, you know what I'm saying? But it works. It's like an unexpected kick of flavor. This I can actually see myself getting. Now, as for the KFC menu, they were kind of lacking. I tried ordering like three different things and they just didn't have it or didn't want to create it. I don't know, but uh, pretty solid. I think it's time to get freaky. Can I get uh, the naked chicken fingers? There's four, six, two. I'll do six. And then can I also get a Texas toast chicken sandwich? That'll be it. Thank you so much. You too. Hey, all I have to say is it's my pleasure to bring this to you guys. Wow, yo, it's actually a real thing. This should be on the menu, like for real. This is crazy. It's always so hot, so it's burning my mouth. At least they make it fresh though. And like Post Malone would say, since he has his own cups here at the moment, I'm saucing, I'm saucing, I am saucing on you. Delicioso. Let's get a little bit weird. Bro, what are these? For someone on a diet, they don't want that extra breading. I get it. I get it. I will never see this again though. Chipotle has burritos, quesadillas. But the one thing that they left out kind of pisses me off at the fact that, you know, I'm Mexican, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I love my culture. I love eating traditional, which makes me wonder why they don't have nachos on their menu. But today we have them. They're able to pull some strings in there and make it happen. It's kind of crazy because they have all the ingredients to make it. They just don't serve it. And the chips here are bomb. When you don't want something too filling, you get a snack like this, pretty light. To the nachos I'm used to, this is pretty authentic and it's really good. When you go to Subway, what's the first thing that you think of? I'm guessing it's a sandwich. Sandwich. The famous $5 footlong in your mouths out there. But I don't know, something in me just makes me feel a little Italian right now. So we're about to go inside and order the, shh, I don't want anyone to hear me, the Subway pizza. It's definitely not a common thing, but it's delicious. I'm gonna guide you guys step by step on how to order it. It's kind of like a little video game YouTube tutorial. I used to have to watch those all the time to pass all my missions, but I'm gonna have to do like a pizza today. But yeah, we're gonna do a flatbread. Am I in the next video or what? Nah, your face is blurred. Imagine the whole time. <laughs> Listen, I'm actually just like gonna let you handle it and I'll meet you at the register. Right, what, what cheese do you need? You got it, bro. That's all you. That's all you, bro. I don't need to give the, the chef direction. You know what I'm saying? You should know. Oh, that looks perfect, bro. You're in your bag right now. Doing your thing. If it doesn't taste good, I'm coming back and I'm blaming you. All right, all right. <laughs> now, the best part of this entire experience is not only do we have this amazing subway, it collabs with a gas station. So I'm gonna make my own secret menu drink. I want something sweet. I want something more on the sugary side. Let's see what I can sauce up. Let's create the on the go gas station simplistic special. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the biggest icy cup that you could possibly find. Boom. And there's no rules when doing this and this could change at any time. This is just what I'm feeling right now. Oh, 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 rapid fire, okay. Didn't know they had that installed here. A little bit of cherry. Oh my God. That's like when you have like a two pump shotgun in Fortnite. It's this, look it. So now that you have your base, okay, you're gonna keep that. The main reason why we left a little bit of a gap is because we have to add our condiments on top. Look at that, man. Look at that. Need this one as well, of course. Although I don't have a red hoodie with strings that's tightened at the top near the hood, and I don't have Adidas slides, and I don't have long nails, these bad boys. It's where chile meets sweet. Got some rainbow dipping dots. And again, this is by no means an everyday drink. It's probably once a year for me. I'm nuts at it. It's kind of like an onion. It just has so many layers. It's the beauty right there. Pull it up, boom, boom. Every sip is gonna be a new flavor. It's perfect. Everything here just looks top tier. Especially this bad boy, oh my. Get that nice bite in there. You know we always have to hit it with the fold. Sad thing is, that's better than most pizza places I've been to around here. I don't know what they're doing, but they're doing something right. It really is always cool getting put onto new things because throughout my life, as much as I've had this place, I can now come here and get something entirely new to me. It's probably like 500 milligrams of sugar in there. Nonetheless though, it's hidden. Some dipping dots within. And your straw also serves as a little spoon, kind of like me in bed with my girlfriend. I'm always a little spoon. Boom. So good. 
We are finally back home, but we're not just done quite yet. To close it off, I went through a Starbucks drive-thru and I got these amazing drink combinations right here. I actually wasn't gonna do this until I told my girlfriend what video I was doing today and she actually begged me to get these. So shout out to her, she put me on. In fact, out of any drive-thru, Starbucks actually has the biggest secret menu because of how many different drinks you could actually order. Let's kick it off, shall we? <laughs> I'm not a big fan of Starbucks, I'm not gonna lie. This one right here is definitely the weirdest. I never heard of someone mixing dragon fruit in with espresso, so it's kind of like the best of both worlds. Low key, it's kind of like Hannah Montana. This drink be living double lives. I mean, I doubt I'll like this, like... I was right, that's... <laughs> Why did you tell me to get this? Next up, in honor of the Barbie movie that is out right now. This right here was made in honor of that. I'm hoping if I take a sip out of this, I'll just become like Ken or something. That'd be kind of dope. Wow, this one's gas. <laughs> I don't know what Barbie's doing, but she's doing something right. For all my Nutella lovers out there, this one is for you because it tastes exactly like it. Yo, this one is crazy. This one's becoming pretty basic now because literally everyone knows about it, but if you don't, it's the Harry Potter butter beer Frappuccino. Can't believe I got that out like so nicely. If you've ever been to Universal Studios, you've had something pretty similar to this and I love it there. So if it tastes anything like that, then I'm excited. That's spot on. Doesn't beat the last one, but it's pretty good. Lastly, we have the Ariana Grande Frappuccino. I don't know if she actually drinks this, but if she does, I'm pretty sure one of her stand accounts follows her around everywhere and takes pretty vivid notes. Hey babe, I'm drinking Ariana. I'm drinking Ariana. I better not what? She likes me. Mm. And I like her. Anyway, we are finally finished. I hope you guys learned some new items that you guys can go out and try yourselves. Let me know down below if you guys went out and tried anything that you saw throughout the video. Or even if you guys know something that I don't, let me know. It's okay. You don't have to keep it a secret anymore. It's between me and you. We're all friends here, right? <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys so much. Go ahead and subscribe down below to get me to 2 million subscribers. I love you guys, man. <laughs> and I'm out.